Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. It's Market Outlook time. We're going to take a look ahead of this week on FIFA Ultimate Team. The market, what could be going on in terms of the content, in terms of summer heat, more SBCs, more objectives, and all that sort of stuff this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's a big, big week with Batch 3 coming up this weekend. The season ends on Friday. That means all the objectives go away. And it's like Summer Heat kind of takes a pivotal turn here where we have a lot of Team of the Season cards and a lot of potential content that could be very massive on this game this week. So I want to talk about that. And also the content that was dropped on yesterday, Sunday. Talk about this content that is in here right now and how that could also shape the rest of this week's content in terms of uh, that TOTS SF guaranteed Premier League SBC. Now to start with the short term, what can we expect early on this week first things first today is monday right so finally after a week this spc has been out this spc card has been available in game vinicius vinicius jr i always have trouble saying this guy's name it's legendary right vinicius jr this summer heat item right here or machis if granada somehow pull off the upset nobody's ever been a real madrid fan bigger than today in life Probably not a true statement, but for me it is. Real Madrid plays Granada today on Monday. So, of course, if Real Madrid do win, this Vinicius card is going to go to a 95 rated special version. If they draw, it'll go to a 93. A lot of people are looking forward to this upgrade. So that is our sh summer showdown from last Monday. Now, since this game is today, I honestly think, and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get another summer showdown vote today. Usually on Mondays, we get the summer showdown SBC at least for the past three weeks or past two weeks, we've gotten that. Uh, I don't know if they're going to actually do that today because maybe they want the focus to be on that first one. Since the first one's not completed yet, then there's a possibility of them maybe waiting until like Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday possibly to release the next summer showdown once this one is actually completed and once that game finishes. But regardless, there are some potential games later on this week that I think could be possible next summer showdown Um SBC events, right? Crystal Palace Manchester United is actually one matchup later on this week that I personally feel like could be included in Summer Showdown because they've included the big team so far, right? Real Madrid versus Granada. Who would have thought that game would have been picked? But I feel like it's got to be Premier League or Serie A. Now, I think we do have Roma versus Milan at some point this next week. That could get pretty interesting as a possible Summer Showdown matchup. Um, and then we also have some other big games during the week, but I don't know if they would pick a game before Wednesday, to be honest. And maybe they go back to Sunday. Oh, I clicked off. Maybe if we go back to Sunday here, the 19th, what games do we have on Sunday? Or even Monday, the 20th? Tottenham, Leicester City, Roma, Inter. Okay, so maybe Roma versus Inter. This is the game. Yeah, Inter Milan. This would be another game that could be a very possible summer showdown vote this week. We could still see it today. But I'm also just thinking that it's possible that we might not see that until later this week because the Real Madrid Granada game is today. So make sure you kept, keep an eye on that game today as there will be uh, some FIFA Ultimate Team events related to that game and what happens during it. So uh, speaking about the rest of the market though, Weekend League sell-off is on strong and it was supplemented today by the release of a new SBC that I don't think anybody was really expecting right off the bat today and that was the Premier League Tots guaranteed SBC. Now, this is actually big because this foreshadows team and season cards coming back into packs, which actually I said in my video yesterday that that was not guaranteed. It actually is. I went back and read the fine print, as you would say. The best of releases, it says here on EA's website for Summer Heat FIFA 20, three different times throughout Summer Heat, a new collection of best of re release special items will be refreshed. So, we will see a batch three, and that should include team of the season cards on Friday. Friday is going to be a big day of content that we'll have to look at. But Friday also is going to be big because if EA decides not to put like all TOTS cards back into packs, that's going to be an absolute buzzkill for a lot of this game. Like if they only put a certain amount of TOTS cards back in and they don't re-release anything else, that's going to be a big buzzkill because I'm telling you right now, day because so many people are saving packs for friday to open when team of the seasons come back out into packs 
because these cards hold at least a decent amount of value and it's like the best version for a lot of cards that are on this game on the market. So that's going to cause some market moves on Friday as well. There's a lot of saved packs. That's just something to kind of remember. Even untradeable packs, uh, a lot of saved of those too. So that's just something I'm kind of thinking about heading out of this week. Can you make some buys on some cards maybe tonight and into Monday? Um, with this Premier League Tots Guaranteed SPC that came out today, this one right here, 164,000 coins and 86 rated squad to complete this. And I think like a team of the season or team of the week card maybe as well uh, included, required for that. It is cheaper than what the Premier League Tots guaranteed was when it came out during Team of the Season. During Tots, it was an 88 rated squad. Right here, it's an 86. Since they really released the Premier League today, I think, and a lot of other people are in alignment with this thinking, that they will release another an SBC each day for a guaranteed Tots player. Or that may, maybe it won't happen every single day, but they'll start spreading these SBCs out as we have Team of the Seasons back into packs. The Tots guaranteed SBCs for La Liga for League 1, for the Bundesliga, and Serie A, those four more, it's very possible that they could come out later this week or maybe in the next couple weeks during batch number three. So some people said, hey, maybe tomorrow we're going to get Bundesliga or maybe get La Liga, then Bundesliga, then Serie A, then League 1, leading up into Friday. That is very possible. I don't know if EA would drop one of these every single day. That'd be kind of crazy. Um, but, I mean, this is a big kind of pack that's going to... This, this SBC, if they release one of these every single day, is going to continually drop the market every day because people are going to have to sell cards to go and do that SBC. So if we take a look at the market and think about, is this uh, is this market going to hold and maybe go up and rise a little bit into rewards on Thursday, especially with some of these team of the season cards that everybody thinks are going back into packs, which they are, um, is the market going to hold on some of these cards? My answer is, for some of them, yes, I do think so. Some of the very meta, very usable cards, especially considering the SBCs that we've had uh, come out in the past couple of days, a lot of French links, a lot of La Liga links, right? I actually have a large amount of these Carval Halls on my transfers right now. Carval Hall and Trent. I bought some Panic Selling today from the... Um, Premier League Team of the Season, SBC. This guy was down to like under 170 today. He was 220,000 coins on the weekend. I think he has to rebound a little bit. Same thing with Trent. Trent Alexander-Arnold, after the release of the Wijnaldum and Origi SBCs, this guy was like 270k on Friday this weekend. He dropped all the way down to 180,000 coins today. Uh, I think I bought like seven or eight of these today at like 185,000 coins. He's back up to 200k. But I do think you might see a little bit of a rebound on this later this week. Um, just as people are, you know, some people got their Lang Lei, some people got their Wijnaldum, Summer Heat cards, and they're kind of just building their squads, right? Building endgame teams with this card and with uh, other cards in the game right now. So I do think you will see some team building this week on foot and some prices will go up uh, on some of the meta team of the seasons. But if you have a Tots card uh, in your club, in your team, it's tradable and you don't see yourself using it for the rest of the entire year and you kind of want to get rid of it, this is probably going to be uh, your last chance to get out of one of those cards before they go back into packs and they considerably drop off in price. If you go back and look at last year, the team of season cards, when they got re-released into packs, it gets ugly. It gets ugly real fast. Just like we've seen with these tots or the, like the summer heat cards and what we've seen with the foot birthdays, and all that kind of stuff, it gets ugly really, really fast. These guys drop a lot. Especially, look at this guy, man. Alan St. Maximin, 600k, under 600,000 coins earlier today. What is he right now? 620. 615 for this card, who was 1.1 million coins before he did, 1.4 million coins before he got released in the packs. So he's over uh, halved in price, more than halved in price uh, since his entrance back into packs. You can expect some big time drops on team of the seasons as well. That's why this week is really, really big and it could cause some major market movement. So be careful with the Tots cards that you do have. I know I'm saying that. And now you're looking at my transfer list and you see like 15 or 20 different team of the season cards. That's just because honestly, uh, what I'm doing is almost listen that for a very terrible price. But what I'm doing is I'm just trying to quick flip a lot of these cards into the beginning of the week. Honestly, I bought these prem cards today during the panic selling from when that TOTS guaranteed was out. 
And if we continue to see tots guaranteed SBCs every single day throughout this week, then we're going to see a lot more panic and the cards are going to start to just continue to drop. So I'm just trying to look for like quick 24 hour flips on some of this stuff because there are still people playing this game and there still is demand for these special cards on FIFA Ultimate Team. So uh, that's the biggest thing, in my opinion, this week in terms of market related content, stuff that could affect the market and prices going down is people selling TOTS cards in preparation for them to go back in packs, TOTS guaranteed SBCs and other SBCs that are going to be coming out this week that will drop the market because people have to sell cards to go do those SBCs, right? Um, and that's kind of my biggest concern related to those. Now, we should probably see another, you know, the past two weeks they've had something different, right? They did a Silver Stars thing with Paulinho. I think that SBC is gone. And then last week they did a Dynamic Duo with Origi and Wijnaldum. I feel like this week we are going to get some other sort of summer heat SBC, some sort of like new concept, or maybe they will redo a silver star or maybe they'll redo a dynamic duo, but I would expect some sort of summer heat SBCs throughout the week this week. And you can constantly monitor the SBC fodder on this market right now. It is, some of the cards are down a little bit, but not really that much. 81s, 82s, 83s are still all really expensive. Fodder itself is still really expensive, especially in the 85 and under categories. Um, but just continue to monitor this stuff because as we approach batch three, of course, it's batch three. It's probably going to be the biggest and, and best batch of cards that are in packs. EA continually drops like SBCs are requiring more higher rated squads because they're dropping Dava the Wiz, um, Lang Le, Usman Dembele, big name guys. You know, guys like Pogba, that name's getting tossed around as a possible uh, player that could get a summer heat card. Um, you know, if a Pogba summer heat would, would end up coming because of a fan favorite Pogba for his foot birthday card, which they could very easily do. Uh, you know, if that's an SBC, you're going to be definitely looking at some 88 rated squads in that as a part of that SBC, maybe like a million coins to the SBC. And you would definitely be looking at this high rated fodder going up. Um, but if you're looking at the like 86 and above fodder, if that stuff is going to be going up, it's going to it's going to take an 88 rated SBC for that to do that. And some of the stuff has been staying lower because of the fact that we had the 85 to 92 upgrade out. So people could go turn in their non rare golds and get an 85 to 92 rated player. Now they don't have that opportunity and they don't have that as much guaranteed high rated fodder coming into clubs all the time on this game because we instead of getting those SBCs re-released, we got the 81 plus and the 82 to 88. Now I'm a huge fan of the 82 to 88. It does me very, very well. I get very good pulls from it, but it's not going to have the same effect on the market as an 85 to 92 did. So maybe take a look at your high rated fodder 86 and above, especially like 87s and 88s, maybe some 89s as well. Did we get a lazy sale? Oh, just freaking par Parolo, eight or coins. Dang it, man. A lot of my cards are not have listed for lazy just to try to see if I get something before I probably go and sell them tomorrow. But um, just kind of watch the market in terms of um, the fodder range, 86s and above on fodder, because there might be a point where some of the stuff does get too low, especially as it goes out of packs. Um, you know, Road to the Final Allen, this card, technically not a live item anymore because they are not in the, wait, Napoli, is Napoli still in the Champions League? I, I need to check this really fast uh champions league draw by the way these champions league cards are still live right these are still live items and the red items too if you pack them in weekend league they can get updated oh of course they're playing barcelona so this is still a live item and it's one of the cheapest uh it's one of the cheapest 87 rated cards at the moment according to footbin which looks like it might have been undercut because footbin says twenty thousand coins but a card like this you know, you just, you just might want to pick one up and, and and store it in the club. Some of the cheapest, it might be club stock time at some point this week, depending on what type of SBC content that we do get uh, for some of the SBC fodder that is on this game, 86, 86 or so and above uh, with that. But again, if you're trying to do like a last send, try to pack a full birthday card or two, the 81 plus upgrades, I like these. Just depends on your account. Some people like these, like my account is pretty good with these. I'm not as good with the 81 double pluses. One thing you would be able to do though is stack a few of these. If you didn't stack any 84 double pluses, you could stack a few of these headed into Friday. Take a chance, pack some team of the seasons when they do get re-released. 
back into packs. But again, this week for the content on FIFA, it's the market and the prices of a lot of cards on the market are really going to depend on if EA continues to release these SBCs that are um, that are like the guaranteed team of the seasons. Because today they released one of those and the weekly sell off was definitely accentuated and definitely helped or I guess you could say made it worse and made some of the drop offs bigger. Um, if that comes every day, I feel like that's just going to continue to drain people's coins every single day. And you're going to see more of this downward trend on price in the market headed into Friday. Whereas if that does not come and it's just kind of a normal week, you might see a dip down, but prices are probably just going to trickle around. Some might even rise up as people complete Lang Lei, buy themselves a Carbajal, buy themselves a Ter Stegen. Um, that's kind of the stuff that I mentioned earlier, I think in my video yesterday to keep an eye out on um as a possible investment just as people are making some of these teams so Stegen was like 220k at a point today and now he's back up to like 240 so there's a lot of these swings happening at all the time one general note that i can make with you guys is that most of the time cards are hitting their cheapest point around 6 7 8 p.m uk time depending on the content of course but that's kind of been like the cheapest time on the market for a lot of these cards on the daily. So that's just something to think about, something to notice. And if you're, especially if you're flipping icons, you can look for some undercuts there because people just like are used to selling their stuff off before the weekend league start point or before the content drop, not weekend league, before the content drop on a given day because they feel like something is coming or there's actually people that sell their cards to go complete and to take part in whatever content does come out that day. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week. Again. The focus, and there's a lot of hype on Friday. So we'll talk about that throughout the week this week and along with whatever content EA decides to drop with guaranteed SBCs and with other um, other Summer Heat players, SBCs, objectives on this game of FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. If you got any comments, drop them down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.